So for some reason, with my last video, people will take a specific and apply it to the general, meaning that because I don't like one or two songs by an artist, I hate the artist as a whole. Thus being said, I'm probably gonna make that worse in this video. Hey guys, it's Madeline, and so my last video is by far the most disliked video on my channel. So because of that, I want people to realize that just because I don't like a song by a band doesn't mean I, I hate the band as a whole. So in this video, I'm going to be taking my top five favorite bands that have been mentioned in a previous video, although they have shifted a bit. I am going to be discussing any songs by these bands that I absolutely hate. When I hate a song, it means I despise it so much I cannot bear to listen to it. When I dislike a song, I will still listen to it occasionally, but I won't write the song off entirely. So the songs I am going to be mentioning in this band that I hate are literally ones that I cannot stand to listen to. I can tell that we all wanna be friends And the band at number five is Jack White, but really it's mostly the Raconteurs and the White Stripes. There are way too many songs from Jack White's solo career that I absolutely hate. In fact, the entirety of Boarding House Reach, except for like two or three songs, were just absolute trash. The White Stripes have other songs that I just don't bother to listen to, like St. Andrew, White Moon. Most of the White Stripes songs I hate are because they're boring. Whereas Jack White, I despise that record just because not only were a lot of them boring, they were weird. To mash something like funk and rock together and add gospel singers is... I cannot stand that record. Be merciful to me I'm so long waiting Be merciful to me Cause you are all I know and my band at number four is a new band, Kula Shaker. There aren't a whole lot of songs by this band that I hate enough to not listen to, but the closest song that comes to this is Modern Blues from Pilgrim's Progress. I like a few of the lyrics like Blew Out the Gaslight, and it has an interesting uh, groove to it, especially in the chorus, but just the beginning of the song and then the rest of it is just so dull, bland in a way. I will very, very rarely listen to the song. It's still in my playlist. It'll really only turn on if I'm not paying attention to what I'm listening to. It's not that the song is bad, it's just how it starts off. And even with that, it's still not the best song that Kula Shaker has written. You my band at number three, what is my band at number three? My band at number three, like Jack White, is actually just a songwriter in general, Roger Gisborne. This includes his ensembles Plasticine, uh, Skylab, Local Division, and his solo works. This is tricky because there is no song that has been released publicly that I hate by this artist. I used to really hate Before the Music Fades, just the entire album in general. His voice from Plasticine EP went from extremely nasally and in the front of your mouth, like, I don't know about you, hey you, is the worst Plasticine song, but I don't hate it enough to skip it when it comes on. And then we go all the way to his newest, his solo record, and we have, now we must continue moving further. But over time, I've come to get used to that type of voice. And even though it's still my least favorite record that he's released besides Proving Ground Sessions, I don't hate the album anymore. At another point in time, I also really didn't like Sister Medicate Me but that song I've also changed my opinion about. The closest song that has been released publicly that I can say I hate from Roger Gisborne is a plasticine song from Proving Ground Sessions, and it is Cut the Strings. It's one of those songs that I thought was okay when I first heard it, but over time I've come to just really dislike it. 
Like, the verses are fine, but then you get to the chorus round and round and round and round and round and round we go. Where we really go into, no one really knows. Another song that comes close is on the Roller Coaster EP, but it actually has the opposite effect of Cut the Strings. I really hated it, and over time I've come to just be indifferent towards it. Take Me Away From Earth. I just don't like it because I can't understand a word he's saying. And the chorus is worse than the verses. Usually when a chorus is worse than a verse, I will dislike the entire song because the chorus is what repeats, whereas the verse changes. I'm crying. I'm crying. My number two band is of course the Beatles. There are a lot of Beatles songs that I hate, just like Jack White. I think everyone can agree that the Beatles have bad songs. I mean, Matchbox was absolutely terrible. I really hate Wild Honey Pie. Good Morning is also not very, not a very good song. Everyone dislikes Revolution 9. I really don't like Don't Pass Me By from the White Album. Good Night is just weird. But of course, the worst Beatles song ever. All You Need Is Love. This song fills me with rage. It doesn't fill me with love. It doesn't make me think that I can do anything. All I need is love. It just fills me with rage. Not only is it just a really stupid opening with the French anthem or whatever it is, and then it gets into love, love, love. No one really likes the Yellow Submarine album, and I really hate this song. I also just have a lot of personal memories with this song that fill me with rage. This was actually the first Beatles song I ever heard, and it's the reason why I hated the band for three years. And of course, at number one, we have the band that I am always saying good things about, Velvet Starlings. And there is one Velvet Starling song that I absolutely hate. Of course, in my review of Velvet Starlings, I even talked about how I didn't like No Hard Feelings, but at the same time, I still listen to that song on repeat, even though I dislike it. It's one of those songs that I say I hate, but I can't get myself to stop listening to. In fact, when the album came out, No Hard Feelings was the song I listened to the most. But the one song I hate I never thought I would be talking about this in a video. I was just waiting for them to take it down, honestly. Back in 2018, before Velvet Starling's EP was released, the band posted that there were now five demos on their label SoundCloud that would have gotten onto the record but didn't. If I'm getting my timeline correct, I highly doubt that, but whatever. I remember it being that they released these songs in a private link, but if I log out of my SoundCloud account and and search up the label, it's right there for you to view in their feed anyway, you don't even have to have a link. So because it's public, you can't hide anything from me. Young Ideas was the fourth song that was available on YouTube when I was first looking at the band. I liked the song, and even though it's not the most amazing song in the world, the lyrics are typical, and it doesn't change at all, it's just the same verse repeated twice, and then a very bland bridge. I liked it because it was just simple, and that's what the band was to me when I first heard them. But then I hear this demo, and in the demo, the riff wasn't played by a guitar, the riff was played by the keyboard. If you know me, you will know one of my least favorite songs of all time is Baba O'Reilly by The Who, because it sounds like an 80s arcade, and it drives me bonkers. And this is exactly what that song reminds me of. I hate it. If that keyboard did not exist, I would still be okay with this song. But just because of that keyboard, I despise this song. <laughs> so yeah, those are songs I hate from bands I absolutely love. Obviously, there are other bands I love that have songs I hate. I can't think of a single band that I love every single song they've written. It just doesn't exist. So if I do end up doing another one of these reaction videos in the future, just know that just because I listen to a few 
a minuscule portion of their discography doesn't mean I hate the artist as a whole. Honestly, there are other songs I've heard from Billie Eilish since then that I've actually think are pretty okay. And yet, just because I didn't like those few hits, everyone thinks I hate her. I don't. Chill out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below on what I should do next. And until next time, thanks guys for watching. Remember to play it loud.